In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Fabric infrastructure using the Fabric binaries. The official tutorial uses Docker container that hides a lot of details on how Fabric is working under the covers. With this tutorial, you will see the binaries in action and that way you will get a better feel of how Fabric is set up. Our objective in this tutorial is to set up a Fabric network with two organizations. The order organization will host an instance of the order which will be of type solo and a peer organization which will host one anchor peer. We will create an application channel which this anchor peer will join. The name of the application channel is Acme channel. To validate the setup, we are going to install an instantiate test chain code on the peer and then we will execute query and invoke repeatedly to ensure that the peer is behaving the way it is expected to. This mini tutorial is based on the online courses on Hyperledger Fabric that I have published recently. The first course is the tutorial for setting up the multi-org, multi-machine fabric network locally and on the cloud. This is a 3.5 hours plus video course that will show you how to quickly set up fabric network for testing and POCs. And then there is a deep dive course, Hyperledger Fabric Network Design and Setup. This course is a 10 plus R course, which will train you on the Hyperledger concept to a point where you will be able to design production grade Hyperledger Fabric Networks. For more details, you can visit my website or you can check out the links in the details for this video. You need to use Ubuntu for this tutorial. Specifically, you would need Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. That is the officially supported version for Fabric. You can create a VM on your machine and that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm using the VirtualBox virtual machine to execute the steps that I have recorded for this video. Minimum memory that you need on your machine is 8 GB, 16 GB and above is preferred. If you do not want to carry out this tutorial on your machine, you can set up a virtual machine on the cloud. At this point, I suggest that you please go ahead and set up a virtual machine with Ubuntu 16.04 LTS to follow along. Everything that you need for this tutorial is available in a GitHub repository. Here is the link. Typically, the Ubuntu images have the Git client installed, but if you find that the Git client is not installed in your Ubuntu VM, then you may have to install it. We will start by cloning or downloading the repository. I will clone it, so just copy the link and do a git clone, copy the URL, and this will create the fabric-native-install-util directory. Here, if you do a ls-la, you will see that there is a folder called scripts. Next, we will execute the scripts under the scripts folder to set up the fabric environment. We will start by installing the minimum number of prerequisites for Hyperledger Fabric, and that is Docker and Golang. I'm in the scripts folder, and I'm going to execute the script pre-rec.sh to install the prerequisites. But before that, change the mode of all the script files. So now we are ready to install the prerequisites. Use the sudo command for executing pre-rec.sh. This will take a couple of minutes. Now we have the prerequisites installed. So I'm going to exit out of the VM and log back in. Make sure you log out and log back in. Otherwise you will have problems in the next step. Next, we will install the fabric binaries. Execute the script setup-fabric.sh with the sudo command. And this again will take a couple of minutes. I'm going to pause the video and join back after the setup is complete. Now our binary setup is complete. Just log out and log back in. To verify, simply type peer version and then try order version and then try crypto gen version and you will see that all of the binaries that we're going to use in this tutorial are working. Next, we will need to generate the crypto material. Execute the command crypto gen generate dash dash config equal to crypto dash config dot yaml. This is the config file available in the current directory. And then set the output folder by using the output flag set to crypto dash config. Once the 
execution is successful you will see that there is a new folder created under the root folder for the repository and that folder's name is crypto dash config at this point our crypto material is ready to be used next we will generate the genesis block for the system channel to generate the genesis block we will use the config tx gen binary the profile acme order genesis is defined in the config tx dot yaml file in the repository provide a name for the system channel i'll call it order channel and then provide the output block file name which i am putting out as acme dash genesis dot block once this command is executed successfully the block file will be generated in the current folder and here is our acme dash genesis dot block file for the time being just ignore these warnings the reason and the resolution for these warnings have been covered in my course let's launch the order next before we launch the order we need to set the location to which the order will write the ledger to and that we will do by setting up the environment variable order underscore file ledger underscore location equal to location of the ledger on the file system which i am setting to order slash ledger under the home folder once this is set it's a matter of just executing the order binary and at this point our order is listening on port 7050 let's go ahead and create the application channel i have the order running in the terminal number one i will start a new terminal that is terminal number two switch to the repository root folder and to create the channel transaction file we will use the binary config tx gen with the command dash output create channel tx the name of the channel transaction file will be acme dash channel dot tx Use the profile Acme channel, which is defined in the config tx yaml file, and the channel ID is Acme channel. Once we execute this, it will generate the Acme dash channel dot tx file. We will submit this file as a transaction using the peer command now. Peer channel create. Provide the order information using the dash o flag. Provide the channel information using the dash c flag, and provide the path to the channel transaction file and at this point we have received block 0 which is the genesis block for the application channel if you do an ls star dot block here you would see the acme dash genesis dot block file which is the genesis for the system channel or the order channel and acme channel dot block is the genesis for the application channel next we will launch the peer and join it to the application channel to launch the peer we will set the environment variable core underscore peer underscore file system path equal to peer slash ledger under the home folder. This is where the peer will write the ledger data. And then to launch the peer, we'll simply use the command peer node start. And at this point, the peer has started. Next step is to join this peer to the Acme channel. And to do that, I'm going to start a new terminal session with the VM. And in this new terminal, I'm going to first execute the command peer channel list to see what all channels the peer has joined. And as you can see, the peer has not joined any channel. So as a next step, we are going to make this peer join the Acme channel. We'll use the command peer channel join with dash o flag provide the address for the order with dash b flag. We will provide the path to the Acme channel dot block file and the peer has joined the channel. Let's confirm it by running the command peer channel list. And at this point, our peer has joined the Acme channel. As a next step, we are going to test this sample network, which is already up and running. To test, I'm going to use the peer chain code install command. To install a go sample chain code dash n go cc dash p is the path to the chain code under the go path and dash v version 1.0. At this point, our chain code is installed next we will instantiate the chain code by executing the command peer chain code instantiate provide the channel name with the capital c flag name of the chain code version of the chain code these are the constructor parameters and then the order address this may take a minute or so because the peer has to download the runtime docker image and then create an instance of that docker image for executing the chain code in the runtime and the chain code is instantiated now to test we will run the peer chain code query command with the name of the test chain code name of the channel and with the query arguments 
here we are querying the value of a and the value of a came out to be 100. Next, we're going to invoke. To invoke, I'll use the command peer chain code invoke and the arguments are such that five tokens from A will be transferred to B. After execution, next I'm going to run the chain code query command again. And as we can see here, now the balance of A is 95. Run the invoke again and query should give a result of 90. As expected, we got a result of 90. This validates that the peer is functioning as expected. Thank you for showing interest in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. You can get more information about my Hyperledger Fabric courses at acloudfan.com. Hope to see you in the class soon.